I love playing with this element of time, holding on to it with your photograph. When you look at the image half a second before, you don't see anything. It's just a completely black image. And it's just when the object hits the paint and you've got this explosion of colors, half a second later, it's completely black again. I am a scientist, I am a photographer, and I'm also an artist. I do projects which are based on natural phenomena and I try to show them in a poetic and unseen way. My type of ph photography is very much trial and error. For example, of the images you see in the background, I took thousands of images and only like a dozen are really the way I like them. Uh, the general idea behind these three series was uh, when I looked at the picture of Jackson Pollock, the famous action painter. What fascinated me is that he shows the result of his process. What I was focusing on in my series is the action itself, how the paint pours onto the canvas. So I thought of different ways how can I manipulate paint by different natural forces. In the first one, Black Hole, I used centrifugal force. When I looked at these images, they reminded me of a galaxy whirling around a black hole in the middle. The way I did this is I connected a flash to the electric drill, so every time the electric drill would start turning around, the flashes would go off. Liquid Jewel is the second project in this series and it's a whole lot messier. I took air-filled balloons and I put paint on top of the balloon and then pierced the balloon. The viewer is looking at the structure right after the balloon is pierced, so you can already see how the paint starts to move away from the surface of the balloon. And what's very interesting, when you look closely, you can see how the different shades of paint start to mix together already when they're in, in flight. Basically, you have to build this kind of rig every time you pierce one balloon. So you take the balloon, you put the paint on top of it, and then you pierce the balloon, and you've got a, a complete mess in your studio. And you have to do this 100 times to get the images right. So after this project, I had to completely repaint my studio because it, it was just it was horrible. I've just completed the last part of these three series. It's the working title, it's called Orchid, and it has to do with gravity, how gravity can manipulate paint. This is the setup for the series Orchid. You have the little box where the paint is filled in, and the camera, which is pointing down this surface of the paint. And then you have the flashes surrounding this setup. And the way the flashes know when to trigger is that you connect a microphone to the flashes. So every time an object falls onto the surface of the box where the paint is, it triggers the flashes. When you look at these three series, you would think, well, he just made 12 images and they're perfect. But that's not really the case in all these different series. There's so much work to it because you first you have to think of a way, how can I capture this? How can I get the results that I have in mind? And then you have to repeat this over and over again. For example, for the Black Hole series, I did thousands of images and only a few ones are really good. Being an artist for me means understanding the world more clearly and also passing on that kind of understanding that you have about the world, passing it on to others. Mm -hmm.